What is up YouTube? This is Zach, Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys aren't one of my subscribers already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up. All right, today I'm gonna be adding into a mix of a video that I made the other day for a Sonos Arc, the brand new all the rage soundbar out right now with Dolby Atmos. And I'm gonna be adding in today the subwoofer. I love bass. I feel like it is the most important thing in a theater system or any audio system really to give you the, the full range of frequency that you need to feel the cinematics. So I'm gonna be hooking this up today and let you know what I think. Hope you guys like it. Let's get into it. All right, so those of you that did not see my other video, this is the Sonos Arc, the brand new unit that I did an unboxing of and also a quick review setup of. It sounds awesome, but it just doesn't have enough bass. If you guys are gonna be buying this, you gotta get the sub with it. So I'm gonna pull this sub out of the box and get it connected right now. Inside of the box with the sub, it's just gonna have a quick start guide. Again, with these, <laughs> it's just so simple. You plug it into the wall, download the app, set it up. It's as easy as that. Got a power cord, some little uh, feet protectors, but it actually, well, this is a newer generation uh, than the prior one. They just sent me all of this gear to review prior to being released. So I actually haven't seen this sub, but I'm, Assuming they still have the rubber feet on there. This is the cleaning cloth. And let's pop it out and see what it looks like. Alrighty, well, as far as I can tell, I do not see a single aesthetic change to this guy. You still have, yeah, those rubber feet on there. Got your connections on the bottom. Let's take a look. You just got land and power. And then right here on the front, this is the sync button for setting it up. Got a couple woofers in there firing towards each other like this. It is ported. Looks like it's ported over here. So ported subs will give you a little bit more base response than a sealed sub. Subs move by actually moving air. So there's a few different places that you can place these, you know, front of the room, back of the room, side of the room. A lot of the time it's gonna come down to aesthetics. And this space, I think what I'm gonna do is this back corner here, back with all the blankets and the, the yoga mats kind of out of the way. It'll sound really nice and cinematic right here. You feel it in your, your butt and uh, it'll also be out of the way. So I'm gonna move it back there now. If you guys are wondering how well the Alexa works, I've ran a couple tests on it and it does work very well. All you have to say is, Alexa, play music, as an example. Here's Apple Music. Keep on Alexa, stop music. So as you can see, the voice response does work and it works very well. Okay, now that I have my subwoofer where I want it, over there in the corner, back here, I am going into settings on the app and I'm adding a product and I'm gonna add in the sub. It literally, look at that guys, it doesn't get any easier than that. Finds it, set up this product, hit the button on there, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I love it. Okay guys, this is uh, the True Play. Every single time you add another device, they're gonna have you do the True Play. And basically you just walk around with your phone 
and it does a room correction, it will try to help out with echoes and things like that. I'm gonna begin tuning and be quiet. Let's go. All right, you get the idea. It's just, you know, trying to help out with the acoustics in the space. A room like this, we'll take every bit we can get. So we are moving on. Finish. All right, guys, I did a demo on another video of the Sonos Arc by itself. And I was pretty impressed for the price point this is at. Sounds great. But then we just added in the sub. So now I'm gonna play that same scene so you guys can get a comparison of before and after. And maybe what I'll do is uh, have our editor throw in a side-by-side -side real quick so you could hear the difference, but bass is so important. I would almost say that these two should definitely be sold together, but you know everybody has budget restraints. So let's go ahead and play it. And I uh, wanna know what you guys think. Let's go ahead and crank it up a little bit. Listen guys, listen. What do you think? I think it's a no-brainer. You got to get the sub, guys. You can feel it pounding underneath your feet. You can feel it in your soul. You know, you got to have the bass. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you make a buying decision. I know these are tough, you know, to, to purchase it or not to purchase it. Is it worth it? I hope this helped you guys out. If you would like to buy, make sure to give us a call. We do have nationwide free shipping and a guaranteed lowest price on every product that we sell. We really appreciate y'all's support. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below. We got a ton of home theater videos just for you guys. Till next time, this is Zach, Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching. Oh, and don't forget about this. Alexa, play music. Here's Apple Music. Alexa, stop.